Hey guys, it's Grimdark Tiggy, and uh, yeah, welcome back to uh, Retail Tycoon 2 again. Um, so I said after the last episode that I was gonna make another one soon, uh, but then it just so happened that I had completely forgotten that that week was the, was finals, semester finals. So I had a bunch of school stuff to do, and so basically, yeah, that's that's why I haven't didn't make it soon. Uh, but but now I'm making it, so it's all it's all fine. Uh, anyway, uh, first step is obviously I need to restock my store because between episodes I was um, just uh, AFK uh, occasionally restocking uh, and selling stuff. It was boring and I managed to get $6,600. So uh, that's enough to get more things, hopefully, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get... Just the normal stock stuff that I get. I'm not going to spend too much on this. I'm just going to get a full truck of toys first. Uh, and then bring that back and then come back and then get food, I think. Um, that's mostly what I was doing when I was trying to get up to $6,000 or trying to get enough money to make this not boring. Oh yeah, and I also found out these trucks, if you hold shift, uh, they can kind of drift a bit, except it's like not, not the greatest. Cause see if if I if I just turn like this it turns like that and if I hold shift, the camera moves. So that means that it drifted. Oh my god, I'm running into all the walls. All right, so that's all the things I spent two thousand dollars on uh, stocks. So that'll get me plenty of money. Um, so yeah, let's just stock the toys, stock the beans and stock the soup because no one needs canned fruit and vegetables. That's too healthy. <laughs> we, we don't do healthy food here. Um, oh, there's no register. Shut up. I'll, I'll, I'll be the, I'll be the, I'll be the cash. Look, stop complaining. I'm literally right here now. Thank you. So while I just sit here waiting for all these customers to check out, I'm going to go over uh, what was added in a recent update because this game did get updated and there's more stuff. So uh, I'm going to go over that real quick. Okay, so here I am at the Retail Tycoon 2 change log on the Roblox Developer Forum. Um, and this is where the change log things are. There, there was, there, this is a place where you can see like all the other things for past updates and stuff, if you want to check that out. Um, but the important stuff here is we're looking at 0.2b, uh, which came out on the 16th. Uh, they added the store options menu, finally, well not really finally. It, it really hasn't, <laughs> it's not been that long. So uh, I'm going to change, so now I can change my store name. Um, I can open and close my store. Workers won't need payment. That's good. And then now there's actually store ratings, which are only currently for decoration and crowdedness, and they don't really affect anything yet. There's camera overlays for decoration and crowdedness, um, which I'll show that in a minute. NPCs try to avoid crowded areas, which is pretty cool, and hanging plants no longer block paths. Alright, so uh, the, the first thing we're going to look at is the Manage Store menu. So now I can change my name, and uh, I don't have any good names, so uh, leave store name ideas in the comments maybe, I guess. And then here's the store description. Currently it's We Sell Things. That's, that's, a, ho that's a horrible, that's a horrible uh, description. I think we should call it buy beans here or you are bad <laughs> okay um and you can probably have an icon here and you can close it but that doesn't really matter and right now i have five stars for crowdedness because i mean it's just not going to be very crowded if there's only a few people in the store and i have a zero star for decoration because i have no decoration and they're going to be adding shelter cleanliness queue sizes and something else uh, it's coming soon, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, and when I was in build mode, uh, I noticed that there's these little buttons in the corner. These are the overlays for crowdedness and decoration stuff. So this is for decoration. It, I think it'll show you um, how much decoration is in an area. So if I go and add a decoration item, Like for example, this small hedge just just in the corner. I'll add two of them. Um, I should be able to. That's the wrong button. Uh, click on this decoration area, 
and I think it is supposed to show that there's better decoration in this area, which it doesn't appear to be showing right now. Um, and then here is the crowdedness overlay. So you can see kind of most of it's green because there's like no people in that area. But these areas with the lighter green are the areas where there's often a lot of people. And those are the areas that get crowded. So you can focus on improving it, which I think is pretty cool and it'll make it easier to improve uh, your store ratings. And then if I go over to here, this just uh, toggles showing the roof. Um, I think. And then what does this do? Uh, I don't think this gray button does anything over there. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, I'm just going to restock my toys real quick. So that's all those. And I'm actually just going to rehire a cashier um, and wait for... There he is. He just glitched in the car. Okay. So you, you can run the register because I don't want to. Um, and instead I'll build a bit more on the store. So I know that right now I don't really have much more that I need to build, but I think it would just be kind of cool to have more things. Um, I'm not going to get very much other stuff to sell right now. Uh, I am going to get another parking spot just to increase the rate which uh, things are bought again. So this time it's going to cost $2,000. Um, so let's put in the third parking spot right there. And then I don't need storage shelves right now because uh, I don't reach the I don't reach the store inventory limit like ever with what I'm buying. So I think that that's fine for now. Um, I might want to add some kind. I, I think maybe I'll just add a bench. It, it adds decoration. Uh, I probably want to put this outside. So maybe I'll delete this. Does this give me money back? Okay, it does. I don't know if it gives me full money back, but it does give me money. So uh, that's nice. There's a bench that gives decoration. Um, and there's a bush over there. I think that we're handling everything pretty well with only one cash register. Um, so I think I might build a bit of a, a bit of another area in the back. This, this isn't going to look very good, but uh, I just want to build something just to kind of see how building works. I mean, I, I'd imagine it's pretty straightforward. You just place the walls. And maybe I'll have like a slightly different things be sold in this area. I think I'll just make a small little room like this. And I can probably delete a couple more of these walls here. So that it's easier to walk in. And I don't know if there is currently a way to move things. Okay, so I was gone for like two minutes and I completely forgot what I was doing. Uh, but I also noticed that uh, we're running out of items to sell. So I'm going to buy more of those real quick. And then I will go back to building that room over there. So let's just, let's just fall off the cliff again. <laughs> I should probably get a, a, a new truck. But I'll probably get that in the next episode because this... Oh, hey, that guy has a better truck. Uh, th those are expensive and I really don't have enough money yet, so um, let's not buy 100 of those, let's buy 50 and bring them back and then I'll buy uh, a bunch of beans, or not necessarily beans, I'll probably just put them in soup or something. Alright, so as I drive my extremely glitchy car back um, and apparently crash into some other cars, uh, I'm going to unload it and stock up the soup right there. And then I'll just restock the toys because a few of them have been bought. Okay, and now I will continue building this area, uh, which I'll probably still shuffle some of that stuff around. Um, but I think first we're going to need some concrete, which is pretty cheap, only 50. Uh, I should probably drag out the area. All right, and then... 
what kind of stuff can I get? I think I'm gonna want more shelves. Um, but I might want to delete these shelves. 900, 440. Okay, so I don't think it gives you full amount back unless I'm being stupid. Um, uh, but I'm just gonna put in these other two food shelves for food there. Um, and I really should move this, but uh, they they can get through there just fine. So I, I'm not too not too worried about it. And then I want to get an electronics display table because it adds appeal and decoration here, which uh, both seem pretty helpful. So I'm gonna get that kind of right in the middle, just so it's like easy for everyone to see it. And then maybe in the back here, I'll get a couple clothing racks. Um, and now I'm almost out of money, uh, but I, I still want to get I still want to get a roof. Let's go up to floor two and drag out the roof. Okay, that's pretty cheap. Um, and then I'll just uh, with with the the small amounts of money I'm getting, I'll add these ledges so that the entire uh, roof still has the same consistent look to it. Another $20, another $20. Okay, there we go. And then I'll just sell these. So if I sell one of them. Oh god, I can't tell how much I'm getting. I can't tell if it's uh, selling for full price or not. But I think that that'll make the store better. So uh, now I can walk around in here, check it out. There's this other room. I really should move this because there's not space. To, I mean, there is space, but there's not very much space. There's like the bare minimum of space, uh, which will probably increase crowdedness. Speaking of which, I should—I actually do kind of want to look over there and go down from floor two. Uh, the decoration, uh, you can see now it has increased around this bench. Uh, this is turning more green, and then around this table as well. And then crowdedness, yes, this area has high crowdedness because it's kind of a bottleneck that everyone has to walk through. Um, so that's something I might want to fix, but I'm not, I can't be bothered to fix it right now, especially because I've got all these uh, toys still just chilling on the shelf, and I've still got more to restock, which I guess I'll just put in the quadcopters. Although I can empty and then restock these. And then uh, if I go back to the build menu, where's the build menu? There it is. I could delete this, delete this as well. So now that should be a lot less crowded. And then uh, I'll put the uh, shelf back in this corner. I can't really fit it there. Cool, I can't quite fit it there. Um, if I place that slightly differently, oh wait, no, I can I can still fit uh, the last shelf in there. Okay, so that that works. Uh, and then I'll just go and assign all the shelves. Uh, this one I can only do a certain device. Uh, I'll just do laptops, I guess. And then this one I should probably put back to being the toy rockets. And I'll just put the canned fruit and canned vegetables uh, over there. And then these last two that are clothing ones. Uh, yep, I've just got two types of clothing. So I can put shirts there and pants there. Um, and now, well, my store has been improved greatly. Um, there's a clown. There is a clown. <laughs> a, a grumpy clown. <laughs> I cannot talk. A grumpy clown just walking around in my store. And, and now he's leaving. Goodbye. Um, can you sit in the bench? Oh, you can. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so that's probably going to be where I end the episode because uh, I built more on the store. And now I'm just going to need even more money <laughs> to get... 
mostly just more things to sell for more money and a better store. So that's all I'm going to have for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, all that. Yeah, and uh, bye.